it's Tiana, your SEA president, bringing you our weekly news video to keep you up to date with what's going on at Chilhowie. We have sent our roving reporters out into the field today to interview our Fit Club champion team leader for last week. We will get to that later on in our newscast, as well as our first live attendance drawing, so stay tuned. We will now go over to our news desk with Mary Bethan. Our first school dance will be on Friday the 26th. It costs $3 per person, and Mrs. Phipps and the cheer cheerleaders will be selling pizza, drinks, and snacks. The dance will be in our gym from 1.30 to 3, and then we'll return to our last ca uh, class for the third meal. We will encourage everyone to come to our back-to-school dance, and it's a lot of fun and a great way to meet new friends. Those who don't go will report to the study hall for free reading or homework in room one. Ms. Gentry will be visiting all English classes this week to let us sign up for clubs. Everyone is encouraged to get involved in something here at CMS. There are lots of different clubs for you to choose from, so I'm sure you can find something that you're interested in. Clubs are a great way to meet new people that have similar interests and make new friends. Remember, the best way to enjoy school is to take advantage of opportunities like clubs and sports. So that way you feel more like this is your school. So we encourage everyone to get involved in something. Please like our CMS Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Mr. Blevins will be randomly offering prizes for those who follow us. Plus, it's another great way to keep up to date on what's been going on. It's time for our first attendance drawing. Deanna will pull three names, one from each grade, to win a free dance packet. Winners will get a free dance ticket and a snack pack of pizza, drinks, and a candy bar at the dance next Friday. Remember, in order to qualify, you must have to be in school all day, every day for the week. That means no checkouts and no charties. Our sixth grade winner is... Keller Anderson. Our seventh grade winner is... Nick Keith. Our eighth grade winner is Hannah Hayes. Now over to our roving reporter, Logan, for a special interview. Thanks, Harper. We have 24 of our faculty members on a fit club team this year. This was their first week, and the results were Team Gentry was in last place with 195 points, Team Heaton finished in second with 235 points, and Team Barry won with 277.5 points. I have Mr. Barry with me now, who is the captain of the winning team this week to get more information about Fit Club. What is the Fit Club? Many of our students have no idea. Well, Logan, I'm, I appreciate you asking that question. Of what Fit Club is, is a lot of other faculty decided we want to have a little social interaction and become a healthier staff, so we would give more to our students and maybe be a little an example of what we could be. I know that you are happy that you won the first week. Do you have anything you want to share with your team? Well, I just want to say I'm so proud of the team we've had. Like. I think you remember last year when you were in seventh grade, Fit Club was going on here. Do you remember that? No, I don't. You don't. I hate that you got to be an SEA officer and didn't know that. Well, last year we had Fit Club going on, and it was Team Murphy, who really was ran by Team Blevins. You know who Mr. Blevins is, don't you? No. You don't? Well, that's a good thing for you. And it was Team Murphy versus Team Hall. And we worked so hard all year to become a healthier staff, but at the end of the year, there was a, this mysterious member that got added to Team Hall. Do you know who that member was? No, I don't. It was Mr. Billings. Do you know who Mr. Billings' best friend in the world is? No. Mr. Blevins. Do you know whose team Mr. Blevins was not on? No. Miss Hall's team. And then all of a sudden, there was this member for Team Hall that was not gaining points for working out and was not losing any weight. And Team Hall lost at the end. Do you think there's a little controversy to that? Maybe a little bit. Do you think possibly that Mr. Blevins might have got secret emails and sent them to Mr. Billings to sabotage Team Hall? Oh wait, I bet you he's working with Miss Clinton's server and probably deleted some emails. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I do not. Well, I hate that for you. You probably need to take a civics class then too, Logan. Do you know much of anything? Yes, I do. What do you know? I know. 
He must not know much. We're in algebra right now. Why don't you just ask me your next question there, Jabroni? Anything for Team Gentry or Team Heaton? Team Gentry. Now, I love Miss Gentry, don't you? Yes. Yes, we all love Miss Gentry, but who do you think is trying to run that team? Team Heaton. Well, no, it'd probably be Blevins. Now, come on, come on. you got to stay with me here. It's probably Blevins running that team. Well, what place did they finish again? What did Team Gentry finish in? Last place. Last place. Hmm. Do you think Mr. Blevins is a very happy person right now? No. But you know, I like Mr. Blevins because I was taught by my family to always respect my elders. And we definitely know who's older, right? Yes. Who is older? Mr. Blevins. Probably is. But Team Gentry, they're going to they're gonna try to come back. You know, Gentry works out hard, and she's got a few people, but she's got a certain secretary, Miss Phipps, on that team. I think we could slip her a cupcake or two, keep her out of the gym. We can slag those points back. Now, what other team did you say there was? Team who? Team Barry. Well, no, I, I said there's a team here. What's that other team? Team Heaton. Team Heaton? Who's Heaton? Who's that? Do you know who that is? No. I don't either. Does that even matter? No. I think they've got somebody called Grinstead on their team. Well, what's she going to do? Roll a basketball out? Is that what they do in phys ed around here? You don't have to answer that. Do we have any other questions? Thanks, Mr. Berry. Now back to Landon, Kyle, and Dawson at the sports desk. Well, Landon, Kyle, and Dawson, thank you for your time. Thanks, Logan. Our football team had a scrimmage on Tuesday at Bland, and we had an outstanding game. We won the scrimmage 70-6. to Kyle was able to speak to Gabino Silverio, one of our players, to share some highlights. Kyle? First, congratulations on a great win, 70-6, to over Bland yesterday. Can we look forward to a good season this year? Yes, a good season. How many players do we have this year? About 30. In your opinion, who played better, offense or defense? Offense, but I think our defense did pretty good, held him back with only six points. Is there a play that stood out last night? Uh, well, when I did the wrong, went to the wrong side and still got a touchdown. What are some things you think we need to approve on before we face Marion on the 29th? Penalties. So one final question. Are you Team Barry, Gentry, or Heaton? Team Gentry. Thanks, Gabino. We wish the team the best of luck this season. Back to you, Dawson. In volleyball news, both 7th and 8th grade seasons are now underway. 7th grade teams were chosen this week. Our first volleyball game is at home on Tuesday, August 30th with Rural Retreat. Also, don't forget that mandatory sports meetings for all athletes, football, volleyball, and cheerleading, will be Monday, the 22nd, at 6. You must bring a parent to the meeting to sign paperwork. And that's it for sports. Back to you, Dion. Thanks, Dawson. That's about it for this week's highlights here at CMS. Until next week, this is Deanna and the crew saying, have a great week, and don't forget that every day counts.